Paris Saint-Germain were without injured superstars Neymar and Mbappe, but the third piece of the MCN strike force made sure Thomas Tuchel's men made it 14 consecutive wins since the start of the season with a quite stunning strike that downed a spirited Toulouse. The champions not at their fluid best. They'll hope their star duo return ahead of the visit of Liverpool on Wednesday and provide some more of the El Matador magic. The 117th Ron Derby had a draw written all over it. That's until the flick of Jason Denier's head settled the affair to take Lyon onto the podium and leave their rival Saint-Etienne in their wake. Memphis Depay with the delivery, 30 goals and assists this calendar year, only bettered by Suarez, Messi and Ronaldo. Montpellier had the chance to climb second on Sunday afternoon at their Stade de la Mosson, but Hatim Ben Arfer put the cat among the pigeons when his deflected strike gave visitors Rennes the lead. After having a goal ruled out by VAR, Andy Delors was not to be denied his sixth of the season. Thomas Kubek failed to deal with Damien Letalek's speculative effort. The former Toulouse man pounced. And the former under-21 French international tapped home again after a fabulous flick released Gaeta Labor. He set up his strike partner. 13 of Montpellier's 22 goals have come from that strike partnership. The substitute Paul Lann was rash in bringing down Ismail Assar. And Benjamin Bourgeot netted his second successful spot kick of the campaign to grab Rennes a point. Nice were on an upward trajectory and they now have Lille and the podium in their sights after defeating the Northerners. Mario Balotelli may not have opened his own account, but his delicious delivery picked out Wyland Cyprian to smartly lob past Mike Mangnon. And after Lille failed to clear their lines, they were punished again in the second half. A short corner having the visitors' defence at sixes and sevens. And then Alan San Maximan's deflected strike made it four wins and the same number of clean sheets in a row for the Eagles. Patrick Vieira's side with momentum after a shaky start. Marseille fell behind after an uncharacteristic error from Steve Mondonda, letting the ball slip through his grasp, allowing Bakay de Passi to give Amiens a shock eighth minute lead. Rudy Garcia said before the match that OM didn't need to sign a striker as they had Florian Tovan. That opinion appeared sound as the World Cup winner levelled matters midway through the first half with a terrific angled shot. Bow he might. At that stage, Tovan had been involved in 10 goals and 13 outings, but his stunning free kick also meant he's the second best OM scorer of the 21st century, just 10 behind Mamadou Niang. And even after Dimitri Payet won and missed a penalty, Tovan had time to seal all three points with his third Liga and Conferama hat trick. Marseille fifth, two points adrift of second. Yangon are hoping the return of Coupe de France winning coach Jocelyn Govenek would start to pay dividends, but the Liga and Conferama basement boys fell behind when Javier Chavaleren scored with the host France's first attack. Coach David Guillon then was rewarded instantly for sending on 22-year-old Boulay Dia. The forward left an indelible mark on the match with two touches to double the lead with his first top-flight goal two minutes after his introduction. Well, goal scorer Chavaleran gave Gangon a lifeline when VAR picked out and it was a penalty, not as first thought free kick. Right on the line. And Marcus Turan made it three in two, but his fourth successful spot kick couldn't deny Hans the win. Strasbourg's four-match unbeaten run at home was ended by Nîmes. Veteran Ivorian defender Hervé Leboy was left all alone to power his header past Matt Sells. The 35-year-old's first top-flight goal giving Nîmes a second straight away win. The Derby de l'Ouest bragging rights were on the line and Angers were on course for a first win at Le Bourgeois in a Ligue 1 Conferama in 51 years. That after Stefan Bouken fired in his fourth of the season. But substitute Majid Juarez had the last word as the Ghanaian struck sweetly to register his first Canaries goal to grab a point and break Sko Hearts.
scored. Though felt VAR was out to get them on their trip to Dijon, Francois Camano headed in what he thought was the game's opener, only for the referee to consult VAR, and the images shows that Guinea Ford was offside by the tightest of margins. The Girondin felt they'd finally scored a legitimate one when Jan Caramo bundled in, but Francois Letessier again signaled for VAR. He showed Junus Sankari was just off in the build-up. That meant the match ended goalless. Thierry Henry must have breathed a sigh of relief as his captain fantastic Radamel Falcao stepped up to curl a stunning free kick past Caen's Brice Samba. That giving Monaco's coach his first win as boss and end a run of 12 league matches without a win for the Principality. For the second week in a row, only 19 goals, the only times this season Ligue 1 Conferama has had fewer than 20. Five matches with just one goal in it, even Champions PSG missing the form that's seen them score 45 goals in the opening 13 weeks. Paris unbeatable with 14 consecutive wins, the best of the top five leagues and third of all time. Still nine short of Benfica's record of 23. Lyon back on the podium in second and Montpellier hold third with Lille down to fourth. Gang on further isolated at the foot after Monaco's first win since the season started. Caen remain above 18th Dijon on goal difference alone. Name the only climber in the bottom half after their away day win at Strasbourg. Europe is back in midweek, so Lille will hope to take advantage of Lyon's clash with Man City when the pair clash on Saturday. Thierry Henry will look for back-to-back -back wins when Monaco hosts high-flying Montpellier. PSG can make a perfect 15 when they face Bordeaux Sunday night.